So a little while back, I was doing this series of videos on what if there were more than three starter Pokemon to choose from within every region of Pokemon. So for instance, what if there were four starters to choose from in Kanto instead of just the standard three? These videos were a lot of fun to do, but it's been a little bit of time since I've done one. I kind of had to wait for the new starters of Scarlet and Violet to come out, and now that those games are out and we know what those starters are like in their entirety, I have now decided to return to this really fun series to finish off the last three regions that I need to cover. So in today's video, we are going to be looking at what it would be like if Alola, Galar, and Paldea all had more than three starters to choose from. So let's go ahead and check it out. So these additional starter Pokemon have been made possible thanks in part to today's wonderful sponsor, Ridge Wallet. Ridge is a big supporter of the channel, and I am grateful for that because their wallet is far and away the best wallet that I have ever owned. I have had one myself for several years, and I am never going to use another wallet again because this wallet basically makes any normal wallet completely obsolete as far as I'm concerned. It's smaller, it's sleeker, it's easier to carry, it's more durable, and point blank, it's just better. I am not the only one who thinks this either, as the Ridge Wallet also has over 50,000 five-star reviews to its name. Ridge can even do the same thing for your keys as well with their signature key case, and we all know how crazy keys can get. So if you want to hop on this and check out the Ridge Wallet or key case for yourself, you can do so by clicking the link in the description below. And when you use code HOOPS at checkout, you're also going to get 10% off your order, and showing Ridge some love even helps out the channel as well. The wallets are also backed by a lifetime guarantee, and can even be tried out risk-free thanks to Ridge's 99-day money-back guarantee. So be sure to give that a look with the link below, and thanks again to Ridge for supporting the channel. So picking back up where we left off, we are going to begin with the Alola region. Now, the Alola region obviously houses a ton of more tropical-like Pokemon, and the starters in this region are no exception. Rowlet, Litten, and Poplio are certainly a more unique group of starters, I would say, so coming up with a fourth starter to sort of fit in with this bunch was definitely going to be a bit of a challenge. However, I ultimately came up with something that I personally adore, and that is Biddybug. Biddybug is what I imagine a fourth starter Pokemon could look like if we got that sort of thing in the Alola region, and the reasons why are actually multiple in number. For one, it's obviously a bug type, as its name would suggest, and the reason why I went with the bug type here is the same reason I went with the bug type in previous videos in this series. Number one, it's obviously more of an early game type of type, so it's good for a beginning trainer to have in their first Pokemon, but more importantly, number two, two, it just balances the best it possibly can with the other three starter types, because as we know, the actual three starter types are perfectly balanced amongst each other, and while you can't really get that same sort of perfect balance with four types, with the bug type you at least have sort of a type square where every type has an advantage against another one in the square. Additionally, Biddybug also does its best to fit in with the Alola starters from an inspiration standpoint as well, because as we know, the Alola starters sort of have a circus theme going on to them, where Decidueye and Rowlet are the ringleaders, Incineroar is obviously the classic tiger jumping through a ring of fire, and then you have Poplio and eventually Primarina, who are the stereotypical seal with a ball bouncing on their nose. I'm not exactly sure why they decided to go with this sort of theme for a Hawaiian-based region, but that is what the theme is, so we are just gonna have to roll with it. However, it actually ended up working out pretty perfectly in Biddybug's case, because Biddybug incorporates those circus elements into its design by being inspired by aerial silks. 
Aerial silks are a type of performance that you often see at circuses where performers will dangle from these ribbons that hang from way up in the rafters and perform acrobatic moves in mid-air. This, I thought, went perfectly with the concept of a spider Pokemon because spiders also make their webs from silks and are obviously often seen hanging from their webs in mid-air. So in my opinion, this all came together just about as perfect as it could, and this is the theme that Biddybug would ultimately have as it continues to evolve and grow into its final stage. However, with that being said, you can still see a little bit of that inspiration in its design here, particularly with its pose, and overall, and especially for a bug Pokemon that's based on a spider, I think Biddybug turned out insanely cute, and I feel like it would be a great choice if it was actually a starter Pokemon alongside the rest of the Alola starters. But you guys are going to have to let me know what you think of Biddybug and let me know which of the three Pokemon featured in this video you would pick in the comments below. Moving on from Alola though, we are now going to take a look at the Galar region, and we're going to try and figure out what a fourth starter Pokemon could look like that could also fit in with Grookey, Scorbunny, and Sobble. Fortunately, however, the situation with the Galar starters is very similar to the situation with the Alola starters, because just like the Alola starters, the Galar starters also have a really concrete theme that is going on with them, especially as they begin to evolve, and that is a theme of entertainment. We see the Grookey family representing music, which is obviously a big form of entertainment. We see the Scorbunny family representing sports, and we see the Sobble family eventually representing movies with Inteleon's James Bond inspiration. So we're going to try and keep that theme of entertainment going with this fourth Galar starter. And with that being said, I would like you guys to meet Burble. Now, Burbolt is an Electric-type Pokémon that is being added to the Galar Starter Pokémon mix. And once again, the reason why I've gone with the Electric-type here is because Electric is basically the fourth honorary starter type. We see it with Pikachu a lot of the time, so if there was going to be a fourth starter type legitimately, Electric obviously seems like a primary choice. So that's the reasoning behind that, but there is a lot more to Burbolt than simply just its Electric type. Type. Like I said, the Galar starters all have a theme of entertainment going for them, with each one of them representing a singular form of entertainment, and with Burbolt, that same sort of thing is going on. However, this time around, the form of entertainment that it is representing is video games. I went with video games here because obviously it is a huge form of entertainment and is one of the primary ones, especially in this day and age, and I thought it contrasted well with the other forms of entertainment that are already being represented, and since we were going with the electric type for this Pokemon, it just made perfect sense. And while Burbolt would grow more into its video game inspiration as it started to evolve, you can still see a little bit of this inspiration in its own design, particularly in its cheeks, which not only represent a circle as it would appear in pixel form, but it also represents a D-pad on a video game controller, making for a nice double reference to this video game inspiration. You might be wondering, though, why it even has those circles on its cheeks in the first place, though, and that is because this Pokémon is based on a cockatiel, which are distinctly known for having the same red circles on their cheeks, which also draw a lot of connections and visual similarities to Pikachu, who is obviously an iconic video game mascot, which makes it all the more perfect to have as an inspiration since video games is already what we're working with as an inspiration. I also went with a bird-based design here because I thought it contrasted well with what the other Galar starters are bringing to the table and provides a good amount of variety, which is what you want in a set of starter Pokémon. 
Finally, I have got to address the name Burbolt, as it's pretty simple, but also pretty effective in my opinion. It simply comes from bird, because it's a bird, and bolt, as in electricity, because it's an electric type, but also it's got the internet slang term burb in there, which obviously all the young kids are just gonna go crazy for, and it's something that we've actually seen recently happen in Pokemon with some of the Gen 9 Pokemon. So, overall, I think this is a great name, and overall, this is a Pokemon that I feel like I would probably choose if we were given the option to choose it in the Galar region. With that said, though, we've still got one more additional fourth starter to cover, and that is going to be from the Paldea region. Now, the Paldea region starters are the reason why this particular video had to be delayed so long, because when I was making the other videos, we were still in the lead-up to Scarlet and Violet, we didn't know what Fuecoco, Sprigatito, and Quaxley were going to evolve into, and so I wanted to wait until we had the full picture of the Paldea starters, so I could make a fourth starter with all of that information in mind. So this fourth Paldea starter has been a long, long time coming, but I feel like it is worth the wait, and with that being said, I would like you guys to meet Chilemi. Chilemi is a hypothetical Ice-type starter for the Paldea region, and the reason why I went with Ice is once again the same reason why I went with it in previous videos. It just makes for the best balance amongst all of the other types that are available, and it allows you to have that type square where every type has an advantage against another, along with the other traditional starter types. It's not perfect, but it's just about as perfect as you can get, and honestly, I just think it would be really rad to have an Ice-type starter, because that just feels really different and unique and intriguing. Thankfully, the Paldea starters also have an overarching theme with them, just like the Galar and Alola starters do, that we can use to sort of integrate this Pokemon with its other counterparts more effectively. And the theme that the Paldea starters have is a theme of performance. Meowskarada is a performer, as it is a magician, Skeledurge is a performer, as it is a singer, and Quackwaval is a performer, as it is a dancer. So, some kind of performing art is what we want to integrate into Chilemi. And while it's pretty not very apparent with Chilemi's design in particular, what it eventually would grow into as it evolved into its final stage where that really comes out is that of an actor or a theater performer. I think that is another central performing art that isn't represented already with the three actual Paldea starters, and therefore I think it would make for a really cool dynamic with Chilemi, especially with everything else that is going on with it, and I think if done correctly it could make for a really cool final evolution design. Chilemi is also based on a lemming, particularly a collared lemming, which is a type of rodent, and I wanted to go with a rodent Pokemon in particular for this Paldea starter, just because, once again, I wanted to provide a sense of variety and a sense of uniqueness compared to the other starters with this Pokemon. I went with the Collared Lemming in particular though, not only because it's a cute little guy, but it's also a rodent that lives in the Arctic and whose fur turns white in the winter, which is obviously a perfect fit for the ice type. And before I get too far into the video, I've also got to say that the artwork for all of the designs that you've seen in this video of these starters was drawn by my good friend Oscar Belmonte, and he obviously does fantastic work, so be sure to check him out with the links in the description below. Finally, the last thing we've got to cover with Chilemi is its name. Chilemi comes from the word chill, as in being cold because it's an ice type, and the word lemming. I also wanted to incorporate some Spanish elements into its design, since two out of the three Paldea starters have very overt Spanish names, and that is kind of what is happening here, because the Spanish word for lemming is essentially lemming, so it's a bit of a double-layered name with both English and Spanish in there, technically, which is why I thought it worked well, and it also kind of just 
has that Spanish type of sound to it when you say it. Chilemi? Like, I just think that sounds cool, and I think it sounds like it fits, so that is what I decided to go with, and I feel like this would be a pretty cool choice if it was an actual Paldea starter. And there you have it, guys. That's what it would be like if Alola, Galar, and Paldea all had more than three starter Pokemon to choose from. If these were actually real fourth starters, would you pick any of them over the other three official starters that are available? Be sure to let me know in the comments down below, and if you want to see these types of videos for the other regions in Pokemon, they are already up on my channel right now, and you can check them out with the iCard on screen or or by simply going to my channel directly. If you enjoyed the video as well, be sure to give it a like and subscribe for more if you're new because that really does help out a lot. And be sure to leave a comment down below as well letting me know your thoughts because it also helps out the video a lot too. With that being said, I will be back very soon with another video. So until then, as always, thank you guys so much for watching this one. I honestly appreciate it so much and I will smell you guys later.